there's no sort of winning party with regards to who's the good guy. Messi will have pissed off Barcelona fans by saying, you know, I want to leave. And we know that we know what that is to Barcelona fans. I'm sure they'll forgive him. But in the Barcelona camp will obviously pissed off the rest of the world by not let, letting him leave. So um, they've talking about Depay and Wani Aldum as signings uh, to come in and that they're not good enough. They're not good enough to, to strengthen them to that point. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. I didn't want to do this to him. I didn't because Lionel Messi, right? Let me just give some context to Lionel Messi fans. He's not above criticism. Lionel Messi, the footballer, is quite frankly a gift from God. We, we'll all agree on that. No one's going to dispute that. The man is incredible. But as a businessman, oh boy, I'm about to go in on you, Lionel Messi, let me tell you. Right, let me start by saying, Reese hit the nail on the head there. We come on this podcast all the time. Top level football is a ruthless, disgusting business. It is so dirty. Lionel Messi tried to do Barcelona dirty. Barcelona tried to do him dirty. This is what Lionel Messi said in his interview with Gold, right? And this is what he's quoted, right? I just want to make sure I'm accurate. So I want to make sure I'm giving facts. So I told the club, the president, that I wanted to go. I've been telling him all year. Okay, that's fine. Entirely valid. We've got some context as to what he's wanted from the start of the season or the beginning of the year. Now, if you wanted to go all year, why did you not activate the clause? Because ultimately what you can do is you can activate that clause and say to the president, look, we're going to activate this. I'm going to leave at the end of the season, but we won't announce it until the end of the season. And that way then I can go. I will just focus on current events. He didn't do it. So as a businessman, I'm looking at this situation and I'm thinking, you've had, if you were telling him at the start of the year, so let's say this is January, you've had a full six months to exercise that clause and you never did. So do you know the contract that you negotiated? Because Lionel Messi negotiated his deal. Nobody negotiated it for him. He would have had to have signed off on every single clause, last full stop, paragraph and sentence. So why have you not done it? I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, that's weird. What, 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 if you know you want to leave, why have you not gone? So Messi then turns around and says, well, oh, you know, the president, he told me that, um, that I could go at any point during the end of the season. A guy that you've just come out and called a shambles and basically said he's a clown running a circus. That's the guy you put your trust in. Am I missing something here, lads? I'm a Lionel Messi, the businessman. You put all your trust in the president that you don't even like. So I'm sat here and I'm thinking, okay, th this is interesting. I'll just expand it on again, Reese, right? So if we peel, peel away the layers. So Lionel Messi then gets the Barcelona lawyers that drafted his contract to then look at his contract to try and get him out, at which point Barcelona then sacked those lawyers. So I'm thinking, that's, that's odd. Why would those Barcelona lawyers go against Barcelona? They must be Messi fans. Well, anyway, two things have happened in that situation, or one of two things. Either they have completely ballsed up and misadvised Lionel Messi as to what he can and can't do, and they've made him look like a dickhead on an international stage. Or as Reese has said earlier on, he touched upon it very well, they have looked at that contract and gone, it is airtight. You cannot get out of that deal. The only way you are getting out of that deal is to apply public pressure. So we then go to the Bureau fax, which was sent. That's the start of the public scene. That's the start of the pressure. So what Lionel Messi thought was going to happen was this. He thought his influence, his power, his ego was all going to carry him over the line. So he thought, if I apply this public pressure, they got to let me go. But as Vecchi said correctly, Barcelona turned around and said, nah, you ain't going anywhere. You're not doing nothing. So Lionel Messi then, instead of just drawing a line under it, comes out and he gives the interview with Goal. And he absolutely torpedoes Barcelona's recruitment plans. How on earth are you supposed to recruit top-level players to play alongside this man when he's just come out and called the club an absolute shambles? There's no project in place. They've been covering holes. They don't know what they're doing. That level of toxic behaviour, Ronald Koeman might not even last till October. How that man is going to see Christmas, he can't recruit. There's no money there. Everyone's a yard slower. Everyone's a year older. There's no intensity in the squad. Messi hates the board. The board hates Messi. That'll trickle down into the squad. The whole thing, quite frankly, is a shambles. And FYI, very important we touch upon ego. 
because it's an incredible thing for a sportsman. Lionel Messi says he loves Barcelona. I cannot believe Lionel Messi tried to get out of his contract for free knowing Barcelona would be due a fee for him. So Lionel Messi potentially could have screwed Barcelona out of 100 to 200 million pounds or euros. So Lionel Messi, the businessman, you got a lot to answer for, bro. But the player, untouchable.